This video is going to be extremely harsh, mean, and based on my own opinion, many of you ladies have encountered a man that wants to go 50-50, or had a man spoil you at first and then surprised you with wanting to go 50-50. A man requesting 50% is basically a man telling you that he's never going to give you 100%, and at some point he's going to leave you if he's able to. Sometimes I really want to ask these men, like, what are you even doing with the other 50%? Because believe me, he's not saving up for your dream vacation. He's not saving up for your wedding. He's secretly using you to make his life easier while planning his escape for his dream woman and lifestyle. And this only happens if he comes up in life. If you're a woman that does 50-50, you're basically paying a man to have sex with you at this point. Even prostitutes make the amount that you make when you work an 8-hour shift. But here you are... Paying 50% for a man to not only sleep with you, but to also take that 50% you just paid and spend it on some other woman that actually knows her worth. What's the point of you going on a date with a man that pays half when you can just go by yourself or go with friends? At least with friends, you'll be guaranteed a good time. The fact that there are women that are married and doing 50-50 is shocking to me. You're basically living with a roommate. I'm sorry, but if I pay for myself, then I may as well be single. I may as well date multiple men while having them take me out, spending money on me, instead of me waking up to somebody's dusty son that cries about wanting to get laid in the morning, then makes me wake up again at 6 a.m. to go work under another man. Then for me to come home, pay half the bills, cook, clean, take care of the kids for what? We all know most men don't like to cook. Especially every day and especially family course meals. We all know men don't clean the way we, at least what we consider is clean. What am I paying 50-50 for? If a man asks me ever to do 50-50, I'm going to ask him what he brings to the table that I should be paying 50-50. Like, what is the point of me being loyal to you when I can just go roam around with men that will spoil me? It makes no sense to me. Now, it's important for us to remember that men go 50-50 for many different reasons. Some of those reasons are because they're broke, cheap, a student, grew up with a mom that didn't have a man spoil her, are used to women with basically low standards, or simply don't think you're worth paying 100% for. I have never in my life heard a man proudly say he loves doing 50-50 unless he's broke or cheap. Now, some of the men that I've encountered that actually come with money did tell me that when they were younger, they did 50-50 with women. But they did 50% with women they could get or with women they didn't really want. They did admit that they appreciate those women more because they saw that those women aren't using them and those women actually truly have feelings for them. But all of them said they don't see a point to all of a sudden th start paying 100%. Nor do they see a point in staying with those women because now they have more options. It can actually get the women of their dreams. So listen, you might be appreciated for doing 50-50. He might look at you and be like, you're a strong, real, independent woman. You're there for me. You're a ride or die. But in the end, you're not worth being paid for 100% even when he comes up because he's already used to you being a 50-50 for him. In fact, now he can get more options and he knows that. Either he's going to hold it against you or he's going to go out there and actually get his options. And honestly, one of the girls on my Instagram page made a great point. She said, if all you can afford is a Honda, yes, you're going to love the Honda. And yes, it gets you to A and B. But <laughs> once you start making more money and you come up, you will want to eventually upgrade your car to a luxury car. Men view women the exact same way. So they will give you many reasons on why you guys should be splitting everything in half. Some of the reasons will be because everyone does it, his family does it, his exes did it, equality. And listen, they don't believe in equality. Like, if you think they believe in equality, you're living in la-la land. Um, there is maybe some guys that I know who are like feminists who don't have money and they're super feminine and super creepy and weird. But very rare that you're going to find a guy who's normal and is some kind of feminist. They basically love to use the equality thing because it's the easiest excuse. Um, and yeah, maybe they'll even provide you a sob story that he doesn't have the money and so on and so forth. They are very smart to use this trick on women. It really helps them with finding a roommate that they don't have to spend money on 
or take care of. Women have two reasons on why they'll do 50%. One of them is because she's some kind of feminist who wants to be equal to a man and wants to have the control, so on and so forth. And the other one is because she's never, it's, it's all she can get, basically. She's never had a man that pays 100% on her. And I'm sorry, like, if you have no options, then what are you going to do, right? What kind of a woman that had a man pay 100% on her will go to a man who does 50%? No one. If all she can get is a man that splits things in half, then she'll convince you that this is how it should be because this is the only lifestyle she knows and it makes her feel better about herself. Now, if a man all of a sudden switches up on you, went from spoiling you to now wanting to split bills, it means he was trying to give you a fantasy of someone he's not to get whatever it is that he wanted out of you, or that he met someone new, can't afford to have you both, so one of you is going to have to pay 50% while the other one gets 100%. To figure out if he's a 50% man is a bit difficult because you can't know without actually going out on dates with him. First sign is, of course, his lifestyle, his job, where he offers to take you out on a date, and I even saw one girl suggest that you offer to pay 50% on the first three dates. And if he says yes, then you cut him off fully. Um, but if he says no, then you basically let him pay fully from then on. Um, listen, I don't agree with this advice and I've definitely did this before where I offered to pay 50% on the first date. The guy looked at me at shock and was asking me if I pay 50% on other dates when I'm out with men. I've never in my life did this again. Now, what I do and what works for me is I bring this up in the conversation. So after a second or third date, depends on how much the guy is into me. When we finish our date, I basically ask him where he wanted to go. If he mentions something serious or casual, and listen, I've never in my life had a guy tell me casual, so I don't know how to handle that situation. Usually, actually not usually, all the time, they always say they want it to be more serious. So then I would ask them what they expect out of the relationship and basically if they believe in doing um basically splitting bills in half and or if they're old school like i would try to figure it out you know like i would just say hey like so do you want it to be like a 50 50 or do you prefer more traditional old school then i listen to what he says if he says yes like he wants to split it i cut him off if he says that he believes the man needs to pay for everything great we'll see how that goes and if he says that he believes that Men are supposed to pay in the beginning and then eventually can be split. I mentioned the fact that I'm a little more old school and basically that I prefer a man to choose where we're going and to choose the dates and therefore I expect him to pay 100% because he's the one who chooses everything. Now this sometimes worked for me and unfortunately sometimes it didn't because when you say this, some men will take you out to pay dates yet also try to take you out to be to cheap dates basically like sometimes they'll take you out to a restaurant and the next time they see you they'll be like okay let's go for a walk in the park you get what i mean and <laughs> that's why this one's a bit iffy some guys will change it up and be like okay i'll be traditional i don't have an issue some guys will say no it's just not for me but that's probably the easiest ways to kind of push in that communication but definitely don't make it sound like you're not into the 50 50 thing because then they're gonna lie to you and listen sometimes they will say yeah i'm willing to do 100 percent for everything but sometimes that's also a lie so it's better to just get this conversation in before you know going out on dates i don't know after you had like five dates all of a sudden he's like okay now let's play you know get that conversation in and kind of see where it goes but always know that even if he tells you what you want to hear he might still be lying to you but if he's still at least at least if he tells you that he's wanting to go 50 percent, you can at least cut him off right away or if he says, yeah, I believe the man's supposed to pay for everything and then eventually 50%, you decide what you want to do on that one. And you need to remind yourself, all men approach you to get laid. That's their goal. They see something that they're attracted to and want to see what it takes to get laid. If a man tells you, let's go for a drink, you already know that I always advise to go to basically not go drinking alcohol. Like to me, that's a big no so if he says, let's go drink some bar, I always tell them I don't drink alcohol. If he offers coffee, tea, coke, <laughs> coke as in like drink, yeah? 
I tell them I only drink water. And if he doesn't get the hint, because at this point, every guy's supposed to offer you a dinner date or a date that you will like, at least a decent date, yeah? And he says, okay, so let's go drink water then. He's basically saying that your JJ is worth a free cup of water. Leave the whole convo and don't even continue to waste your time. The date they offer is what you're worth. Some of you act too nice, teach women to be nice like you, that they should go to some $5 coffee date, wasting their time, energy, and makeup, proving to a guy that she's worth being taken care of and worth being taken to a better date next time. There's plenty of men that will take you out to a dinner date the first time. There's many men that will take you shopping and spend money on you. Stop being nice and go after what you're worth. I've literally heard broke men tell me years back in school that when they were broke, they offered women out of their league low effort dates. And when those women accepted, they started asking themselves, is that woman really out of her, like out of my league? Because men are not stupid. They know if you had a man with bank, you wouldn't settle for a lame date. You wouldn't settle for a lame man. We date up, and if you settle for some narcissistic man that mistreats you or some broke man, some low effort man, then best believe that's the best you can get. And they look at you the same way and say, wow, I'm the best you can get. And please do not get mad or say anything when they offer a low effort date. If you waste your breath when a guy offers you a crappy date, it shows you got too much time on your hands and you don't have enough options that you can just leave him and go on a date with someone else. Every time this happens to me, I just leave a man on scene. Because honestly, 95% of the time, they just come back to me correct and offer me what I want. Whenever a man gets mad at me, tries to convince me that I'm a gold digger, don't deserve a man that pays 100%, should settle for cheapness, I already know that he doesn't have options or women that basically want him. Because he's busy wasting his time trying to convince me to lower my standards. He's busy trying to convince me that I'm not worth it. And men will think the same way when you fight with him about him offering you a cheap date or about being a 50% man. If you're busy wasting your time explaining yourself to him, clearly you don't have other men that you can just turn to who will pay 100%. I've had men that tried 50-50 move on me after months of spoiling me, and believe me, that was the last day they saw me. A lot of them even came back and told me, you misunderstood. That's not what I wanted. I only wanted you to pay... Five dollars for something small from time to time to show that you like me too. But ladies, this is all a lie. They wanted to get laid for all those months they've spent spoiling me and didn't get anything in return. And if it, even if I did, you know, give them finally what they wanted, then they're going to turn back and say, okay, now that I got what I wanted, let's do 50-50. And really think about this. Every man wants a luxury car. Not every man can afford it, right? If someone gives a man a luxury car and says this is free or it's cheap, you think he's going to say no? He thought that that car was out of his league, that he wasn't going to get it, that he can't afford it. And here, somebody's offering the luxury car for free or cheap. Even when he gets this luxury car, he won't appreciate its value or think it's worth that much. Because again, he got it fast and cheap. He didn't have to work hard for it. He didn't have to spend money on it. So, therefore, now he views this car as, damn, this car wasn't all that. It wasn't what I expected because it was easy. Maybe it wasn't out of my league. Maybe I can even get more. Look at me. I got this so fast. I can get more probably. And listen, same situation goes towards women. Like, this scenario is kind of like the same as how they view women. Some of you try to be too nice and too understanding, which is why you attract this kind of man. This is why you'll never get as far as you could in life. And I understand, yes, the thing about us women is that we're very emotional creatures. We want to accept men for making less than us. We want to treat them well and still let them lead somehow, even when they don't make more than us. We force and try to convince ourselves to accept men for being this way when deep down we all know that we resent them for it. It's hard to respect a man that doesn't know how to lead, that doesn't have a mind of his own, that doesn't even make more money. And definitely a man that doesn't know how to make you feel like a woman. And this obviously only applies if you're like more of a feminine woman. If you're more masculine and you like the power and you like to be equal to men and you want to be like men. Then this won't apply to you. You won't care. 
I literally remember this one girl that I used to study with back in university. She would constantly back her boyfriend up and say that women need to help men out. Like, she was very strange because, like, from time to time, she'd be like, I'm annoyed with him. I resent him. He's not a man. He doesn't pay 100%. And then other times, she'll back him up and try to, you know, feel sorry for him. But I remember, like, the funniest thing is that at the end of the year, I remember she came up to me and started crying. And she was like, I have huge student loans. I've been having them for the longest time. I've been paying 50-50 on bills. And on top of that... My boyfriend has been talking about getting himself a luxury car because me paying 50% freed up his cash. And like, it was funny because she was like, you could tell that she wanted to get out of it, but she was trying to feel sorry for him. But this just shows you how far men go. Like this is, if he does 50%, he's thinking about him. It's not even about you anymore. You get what I mean? She was so pissed. By the way, she's great because she got so pissed. She got herself to sugar daddies and left this guy that she's been with for six years. So it was about time. Another thing that a lot of you women need to understand and remind yourself is a man chooses whether you're worthy of long term or not within the first date. But you should also be aware that a man will still, they will take a woman long term that he doesn't find worthy if she provides some kind of benefits to him. These benefits can be her company, her paying half the bills, looks, money, attention, ego boost, her home, her car, you know, her JJ. But at the same time, they will drop this woman within a business day if they find their dream woman and if they can get that dream woman. In fact, while they've been cheap with you, when they find their dream woman, they're going to be so busy upgrading the dream woman's life that you're going to be sitting there asking yourself, why did I go 50% in the first place? And why is he treating her so much better? Why didn't I get this kind of thing from him? Because you were never that dream woman. You were someone that he saw as, okay, I can get some kind of benefits out of her. She will make my life easier in some way. And then I'm going to drop her if I'm able to. D- listen, if you're a woman that doesn't take care of her looks or takes care of her weight, then okay, I can understand why you went 50-50 because that's, that's all you can get. But what exactly is the point? I'm talking about the women that actually take care of themselves. What was the point of you getting waxed, getting your eyebrows down, lashes done, nails done, getting your makeup done, as well as using that expensive perfume outfit just for a man to want to go 50-50? Listen, I've never in my life met a woman like that. Like, if you're a woman who does that and on top of that you go 50, you have to be stupid. I've never in my life met somebody like that. I don't even think that exists. If he does, I'd be shocked. But women who do all these work on themselves and look good, they never settle for this because they know they can get more. If you spend all that money to look good for him, just to spend even more money to be with him, you're going 50-50, yeah? Like, why? All he did was put on some jeans and maybe, maybe if you're lucky, he got a haircut. Yet you came to that date doing all that and still paid for him? That's basically what you did. You're paid 50%. I guess paid for yourself, we can say. Like, I just want to know how you go back home and sleep at night. And let's not forget to bring up the obvious. When you're married, you're expected to stay good looking, to keep up the house, you know, clean, cook, to work, to basically take care of the kids, birth more kids, go back to work. And even while you're pregnant, they expect you to go to work because that's a 50-50 relationship. And you need to be an amazing wife that gives great head in the morning and sleeps with the man whenever he wants and not to use 50-50, right? A real 50-50 relationship is when both the man and the woman do the exact same jobs in half. I cook and clean Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You cook and clean Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But we all know that men don't clean as well as we do. Nor, like 90% of them don't even like to clean. They don't take care of kids the way we do. They also don't like to always cook a full family meal three times a day, which is why most of these jobs fall on us. I've never in my life met a a man that works, comes back home and wants to clean. Maybe, maybe he'll cook for you once in a while. But definitely I've never met someone that works, cooks, cleans, takes care of the kids and basically everything that a 50-50 is supposed to be. Actually, you know what? I lied. I met two men that did this, and in fact, they did this and did a better job than their wives, only for their wives to later find out that they're both gay. And this is a true story, guys. These men, both of them, uh, left their wives for men, and 
this happened to both of my childhood friends. So if you want somebody to do all of that, make sure he's gay then. Truthfully, um, from my experience, I've never seen that this 50-50 relationship works. The women that did have these kind of relationships and let's say it did work, usually were the ones who had more power than the man. The man would basically do as she tells him to do. Like, if she tells him to do something, he just does it, basically. And most men don't like to be in that situation. They like it to be the complete opposite. They like to be the head of the household. But it's like, how, how can I look at you as the head of the household when you can't even take care of the bills? It makes no sense to me. Like, And a lot of women who do try to be feminine with these men, you will see that in their households, they constantly complain about money. Like, It's always, you didn't pay this, you didn't pay that. It's always, or he tells her, you didn't pay this, you didn't pay that. Like, It's always fights about money and not having enough money. And it's just very unfortunate because people brainwash themselves and convince themselves that this is normal, that this is how it should be because... They don't know another, they don't know a different lifestyle other than this. And for a child to grow up with that and to see that, they usually take that in and end up repeating it. So they end up meeting somebody who's maybe just as cheap as their dad or wants to do 50-50 like their dad. And then the same cycle basically repeats. Like They see their parents fighting about finance and here they are now in the future trying to have a family and again fighting about finance because that's what you grew up with. Now, all of these women who deal with these things, they don't want to accept that this is not okay. They don't want to tell themselves that they made a mistake because nobody really likes to admit that, right? They try to convince themselves that this is how it's supposed to be and they try to focus more on content that believes in their belief because it makes you feel better. You know what I mean? I'm telling you that every woman deep down resents it. Deep down resents it, but she doesn't want to admit it and there's nothing you can do about that you know what i mean like sometimes you just gotta let people live their life and let people suffer and learn the hard way and let their you know generation keep getting effed over if you're as a woman not as smart you deserve it your your children are gonna suffer and there's nothing i can do because there's nothing worse than going i don't know grocery shopping and trust me i'm not gonna go grocery shopping dressed all cute with my mini dress and high heels and Here I am next to a guy that looks like Shrek wearing his shorts and flip-flops. And in front of everybody, he's going to be like, yeah, um, by the time we get to like the cashier and we're going to pay, he's going to be like, yeah, so half from my card and half from her card. Or this time I pay, this time you pay. Like you're going to be fighting as well about like, oh, I'm going to pay this time. Oh, I paid last time. So now it's your turn to pay. Like, I can't do it. I don't know how any woman does it. I don't even know how a woman wants to go to bed with a guy like that. It's so... It's it's an extreme turn off. I really, really don't understand this mentality and I never, ever will. Of course, all the broke men with their poverty mind are going to be like, why do these women think they're so entitled to have this kind of treatment? Why should we pay 100%? In the past, we paid 100% because women didn't work. And they used to be traditional, yada, yada. I don't believe that I'm entitled to it. I just know that I can get it. And if I know I can get it, what's the point of me for, like, what's the point for me to settle for less? I know what I can get because I can see what men are willing to do for me. If I see men are willing to pay, why will I go for a guy that doesn't pay? If I see a man is willing to take me here and there, why will I go to a guy who makes me sit at home and watch Netflix? It doesn't make sense. And you can go off and say, oh, it's just a JJ. you're not special because you have a JJ." But I already made a post about this and I'm going to repeat this. Women that are virgins are wanted by many men because, again, no man touched her JJ. Um, Prawn is one of the highest grossing industries in the world and we all know majority of the men are funding and subscribing to these sites and on top of that men will lie manipulate waste their time money energy just to get laid just to get that vjj so if you're gonna sit here try to pretend and we all know every time women go on dates men try to pretend like they have more money power and status just to get over JJ, it kind of shows how much you're willing to do for it. And of course, you can argue and say, I don't need to pay. I can just go on Tinder and find it for free. Maybe you can, but honestly, to me, it really makes me question why those women even go on Tinder and put themselves out for free when you can honestly just go outside, scream that you're horny and you're going to have a line of men basically lined up for you. Men know this. Women know this. Those women, honestly... I don't even want to put them down like you do you if that's what you want to do but 
none of those men respect you you're being used and you're basically telling him yeah it's okay that you use me i mean unless you actually want to do this but it's strange to me to just go on tinder sleep with some guy that you don't even know and you don't even know what kind of diseases he carries out like to me it's kind of like do you even care about yourself like do you even respect yourself if you're willing to even put yourself in that situation you're basically going to a guy's house that you don't even know that could be a rapist or a serial killer so whatever ends up from that it's kind of your fault because you put yourself in that situation right you can't expect a stranger to give you the treatment you're supposed to get when you're willingly going into their house knowing that you don't even fully know them so to me those kind of women are i just don't respect it i don't respect it because it's like why would you put yourself in that situation and then go off crying that something bad happened to you you're not 12 you know the consequences that come with that kind of decision so Anyways, that was it for today. If there's anything else that you want me to add on, talk about fix, definitely let me know. And yeah, love you all.